Operation Chastise, commonly known as the Dam Busters Raid, was an attack on German dams carried out on the night of the 16th of May 1943 by the 617th Squadron of the Royal Air Force Bomber Command using special bouncing bombs. The Mune and Edersee dams were breached, causing catastrophic flooding of the Ruhr Valley. Two hydroelectric power stations were destroyed and several more damaged. An estimated 1,600 civilians, about 600 Germans and 1,000 foreign slave laborers were killed by the flooding. Despite rapid repairs, production did not return to normal until September of 1943. Right after this successful British operation in June of 1943, the Luftwaffe High Command started to plan a similar raid against Soviet power plants. Since the Soviet energy supply was concentrated in a few very large power plants, the focus of the planning was on shutting down these power plants. It was estimated that a power outage in the Moscow Upper Volga area alone would result in a production loss of 80% for tank engines, 60% for light tanks and motor vehicles, and 50% for electronic and optical equipment. So planned targets were 12 steam and hydroelectric power stations in the Moscow area. The most significant target of the operation was the large reservoir and hydroelectric power plant at Rybinsk. At the time of its construction, it was the second largest hydroelectric power station in the Soviet Union and one of the most powerful power plants in the world. It played an important role in providing Moscow with electricity during the Great Patriotic War, especially during the Battle for Moscow. The construction of the station was carried out from 1935 mainly by the forces of prisoners of the Gulag camp system. Instead of a bouncing bomb, which Germany did not possess, the Luftwaffe planned to attack with the Fritz X remote-controlled bomb. The Fritz X was the world's first precision-guided weapon deployed in combat and the first to sink a ship in combat. The Fritz X had been initially tested with the Heinkel 111 bomber, although it was never taken into combat by this specific aircraft. The Fritz X was first deployed in July of 1943 in a raid on a harbor in Sicily. If the Ribinsk Dam had been breached by the Fritz X, the catastrophic flooding would have hit the Soviet capital as well. From December of 1943, about 400 German bomber aircraft, mainly Henkel 111s, were assembled under the general command of the Force Flieger Corps or Air Corps. The Force Flieger Corps received its orders directly from the Luftwaffe High Command and it was not subordinate to any German air fleet. But the operation was never carried out. In late November of 1944, the plan was resurrected under the code name Eisenhammer or Iron Hammer. To accomplish the goal, Mistel long-range bombers were to be deployed. Mistel or mistletoe was the larger unmanned component of a composite aircraft configuration. The composite comprised a small piloted control aircraft mounted above a large explosive carrying drone, the Mistel. 
the most successful of these use the modification of a Junkers GU88 bumper as the Mistel, with the entire nose located crew compartment replaced by a specially designed nose filled with a large load of explosives formed into a shaped charge. The upper composite was a fighter aircraft joined the Mistel by struts. The combination would be flown to its target by a pilot in the fighter, then the unmanned bomber was released to hit its target and explode, leaving the fighter free to return to its base. The first such composite aircraft flew in July of 1943 and was promising enough to begin a program by the Luftwaffe, codenamed Beethoven, eventually entering service in the middle of 1944. In early February of 1945, Kampf Geschwader saw Bamberwing 200, the special mission unit of the Luftwaffe, assembled about 100 misters near Berlin and waited for favorable weather to attack the plants around Moscow. But after a US air raid destroyed 18 misters, the plan was postponed again and shortly afterwards finally dropped. I hope you enjoyed this episode and to make sure you don't miss my future work, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and press the bell notification button. Thank you and see you in the next video.